Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this little series, we're going from Earth to Mars. But we do have a big problem. We arrived at Mars. Um, I think before I even left Earth, uh, Earth orbit, I realized that I forgot to bring the extra fuel module with me. So we never could have completed the, the, the burn going out from Earth if I hadn't added in that extra fuel module. I still think we don't have enough fuel to land because uh, I'm not going to be able to do a runway landing because I don't have a runway. And with the terrain and stuff, I'm not sure that's even possible anymore. So we're going to try to land on a, on a landing pad. The real problem is at Mars, when you're coming down through the atmosphere, you slow down really slow. So, like, so like our our speed right now is three thousand five hundred fifty-eight meters per second, and I mean we need to slow down to zero to land on a landing pad, and that's never going to happen in the Martian atmosphere. Um, so we're going to have to use retro engines to slow us down, and it's not just a little bit. It's it, by the time we're getting near the base, we're still going to be moving at a thousand meters a second. So I guess one thing I might be able to do, let me go ahead and switch camera views here. So I might be able to figure out if I even have enough fuel to do that kind of a braking burn, never mind the hover aspect. So let's see here, let's do a manual. So if we use and we'll be using retro engines because we'll be facing forward, so let's switch engines. Um, and the doors are... Well, I guess for the for the, what I'm trying to figure out here, it doesn't matter if I have the retro engine selected. So we'll, we'll have the main engine selected. And I need to be able to do a braking burn, I'm thinking, in the neighborhood of, uh, you know, a thousand... So in order to eliminate a thousand meters per second, um, well, I mean, I guess I, I do have that delta V, but then that leaves me like 637 delta V for, for hover. Is that enough? I, I don't think it is. <laughs> I, I don't know. Let's find out. Um, all right. So let's, let's, let's set up uh, ComNav. You know what? Let's do a couple things here. Let's set up ComNav for Olympus. I, I think I think there's some things I can do to improve my, my save point here. So let's bring up common app for Olympus. The long range is 114. So 114 20. And then landing pad uh, what's open? One is open. So 129 20. All right, so we'll have that set. And now let me look at, let's look at base sync. Let me go back to orbit. Let's look at base sync, target Olympus, and 99 orbits. So let's cycle through 45 orbits. Okay, so what, what I'm thinking I can do is, because I imagine this is not going to work, or at least it might take me a couple of tries. So I want to get closer to this orbit and I've already got the com now set up and then I want to do another quick save. That way, if it fails and I restore, I can restore back to um, a point where I'm closer to deorbit and landing again so I don't have to go through 45 orbits. So let's do that. So time warp forward, uh, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Okay, so we should be it should be like the twentieth orbit now. 
so let's check. Uh, 18, okay, so let's go number of orbits. Um, 18, and let's orbit around again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, now now it's up here, so we can just go by that. All right, around and let's go like one more time. So it's this orbit right here. All right. Let's go prograde, so the ship is in an orientation that we're that we like. And so right at this point, let's do a quick save. Control S. All right. <clears throat> okay, so now let's go around to our halfway point and getting close. Let's go retrograde. And we'd have to do we have to burn a little bit of fuel here to bring down the other side of our orbit. Eight eighty, so it's still counting up, 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 nine thirty, nine forty, starting to slow down. Nine fifty nine, and that's topped out. <clears throat> Alright, so let's bring down the other side of the orbit to say twenty kilometers. go close enough and now let's try to land so let's bring up surface just so we have our altitude I'm just kind of trying to rush this a little bit because I, I don't think it's gonna work I don't want to spend a bunch of time on something that's just has no hope of working. All right, so we won't really worry about our off base distance right now because as we get lower and lower in the atmosphere, we can uh, turn uh, each direction. Um, we do have the radiator open, so we need to keep that in mind. We'll close that up around 30 kilometers. And we're 3,800 out. One thing we can do, I don't think it'll help us a ton, but we can bring up Arrow Break, target Olympus. Olympus. And it's been a while, but I think it's page, page, PRJ. Nope. Page, PRJ. I used to, there's a, there's a sequence here. Well, somehow we stumbled onto it. Um... Yeah, I don't know how useful this is going to be, but I'll have it open for now at least. And let's... Rotation. Okay, so we have rotation. So I'm, I'm just thinking... How long... So we need, if we're using, well that's if we're using the main engines and we won't be. So when we slow things down a little bit, I need to figure out how far away we can be from the landing pad to eliminate like a thousand meters a second, because I think that's, you know, we're going to be, we're going to be moving quickly when we get near the base and we can't, uh, I mean, we don't have parachutes or anything, so it's going to be really hard to slow down. Uh, Mars is difficult. Um, all right, so what did I have up on over here? Arrow break. All right, so once this gets to, like, I don't know, 100 or something, we'll turn around and go the other way to bring... Because well, I do want to try to keep the off-base distance under control. All right, let's... Let's, uh, all right, let's just get a bit lower. Start slowing things down, but again, we don't want to slow things down too fast because, you know, we do still have 3,000 kilometers to go before we'll get to the, to Olympus. Yeah, 
and we can glide for a bit but yeah we, we do want to start getting a bit lower in the atmosphere I would say um, alright let me yeah let me go ahead and bring in the radiator um yeah just be safe because I don't want to bring it in too soon because then our coolant will start heating up but I don't quite know the right time so I'm just gonna bring it in now to be on the safe side I guess what I can do also is throw out the air brake start slowing things down and then go ahead and turn off the APU and switch back over to the big view all right so yeah uh, landings take a while so I just have to be patient and let me switch this over to one because none of the other cycles matter at this point So, 2,800 kilometers away from the base. Alright. So our distance off base is down to about 20 kilometers, so we'll go... Again, we'll go like 100 kilometers in the other direction before we worry about rolling back over we, we do want to try to keep it under control though so that we don't um, and I guess the closer we get to the base the more I'll, I'll I'll rotate back and forth like right now a hundred kilometers in either direction doesn't seem to matter but maybe by the time we get closer to the base I'll do 50 50 and then 25 and 25 and so on but right now it's changing so fast I don't want to keep rolling over all right so we're 2600 kilometers out we're at 24 kilometers in altitude um, our airspeed's coming down all right let's go ahead and roll start rolling over Two thousand four hundred kilometers out from the base, so we got quite a way to go. And I'm not too worried about arrow break. I mean, I know it shows I'm coming up short, but it doesn't really matter. Because all I have to do to make it indicate that I'm not coming up short, if I go wings level and just pull up ever so slightly, it'll probably I probably at this point I still have enough airspeed I could get to the other side of Mars practically. I uh, don't really want to climb, so let me go here. All right, airspeed's down to 29, altitude at 16. I guess I'm not sure what the difference is between these two altitudes. See, this is just going super fast now. All right, we're 2,200 kilometers away. Still moving at 2,800 meters a second. All right, just to try to keep the off base down, we'll roll over the other way. Mock 
Right. Twenty one hundred kilometers out from the base. So uh, here in a not too distant future, I'm going to open the retro doors because I do want to get some idea of how long the retro engines would take to bleed off a thousand meters a second or 1200 or 800 something like that um, I guess we caught we probably could slow down to I think as low as like 700 meters a second maybe even a bit slower than that I remember from our uh, runway landing days but getting down to that speed is really difficult to maintain because your stall speed is quite high and you just want to drop like a rock. But ideally I could slow down to that. That way I wouldn't have to require so much fuel for braking. All right, we're 2000 kilometers out. Still moving at 2,000 meters a second. All right. Still got a ways to go. So if I go wings level right now, I'm just kind of a little curious what arrow brake thinks is happening here so it thinks I'm coming up super short which might be a bit of a concern I'm not sure Mach nine. eighteen hundred kilometers out yeah I feel like we need to glide for a bit so I need to maybe even bring in the air brake um can't remember the hotkey for air brake. Okay. I don't want to climb super high though, so let's keep that under control. Alright, so. 1700 kilometers out from the base. Landings take a while. Like they've taken especially long time on Mars. I guess the moon's probably the fastest because there's no atmosphere, so you can so you can't do any fancy braking or anything. You just have to use fuel. So that gives you the advantage of you know, you can pretty much time warp through almost everything. ways to go. I wonder if I started slowing down too soon. Or if I slowed down too much too soon. So I think I'm just going to try to glide for a bit. Arrow brake is showing our distance is uh, improving a bit in terms of, you know, making it to the base. Again, I know it's not an issue getting over there because if I just pitch up even just a little bit, you can see I'm overshooting the base by a landslide. So I, I, I know it's not an issue of getting there. Eight. So 1,600 kilometers out. So yeah, I think, I think at this point I just want to glide for a bit longer so that I'm not slowing things down too fast, mainly for time. And so that I don't stall before I get there. All right, about 
1500 meters to go, or 1500 kilometers. Fingers crossed. All right, so now we're under 1,500 kilometers. You know what I can do is a little bit of time warp. Let me... Let me get to the point where I'm just barely going back in the other direction with the distance to the base. I'm going to go 2x on the time warp. Actually, we can probably get away with 3. Alright, so we are... I just want to make sure I keep an eye on my vertical speed, distance off base, distance to the base, Thirteen hundred kilometers to go to the base. Mock seven. Make sure we don't suddenly start dropping like a rock. I think everything's okay at the moment. I'm not I'm not concerned about anything immediate. So we're down to getting near 1,100 kilometers out. Distance to the base is still coming down slowly. That's fine. Altitude. Vertical speed's okay. Distance off base is slowly coming down. All right, we're just about ready to break 1,000 kilometers to the base. We're down to 1,300 meters a second speed. Keep an eye on the vertical speed so it doesn't, you know, we don't want to suddenly start dropping like a rock. Mach six. All right, let me go into real time. I'm starting to panic. <laughs> All right, let's put in a bit more bank just to bring down the off base distance. I can put in just a touch of trim. This is backwards, so I have to go this direction. To... Okay. Okay, so we're down to 1265 meters per second horizontal speed. Six kilometers according to this, ten kilometers according to this. I'm not sure which one's right. So we can maybe start banking a bit more aggressively to bring down the off base. All right, okay, yeah, now I want to see if I open the retro doors and the hover doors, have those open. And that affected my aerodynamics, of course. So let me actually trim up a bit to maybe offset that. So I want to see, let me roll out a little bit, trim up a bit more, because I don't want to dive fast. All right, now I just want to check burn time really quick and see if I'm using retro engines, how long does it take to get rid of a thousand meters a second? It takes 98 kilometers. Okay, so I'll keep that in mind. All right, roll out. And hopefully we won't need to get rid of a thousand, but that's the number we'll keep in mind. 
So 820 kilometers to go to the base. And let's take out some of that trim. Now yeah, we have some nice views here for me because I've Yeah, that does look really nice. I mean, compared to, compared to, you know, Orbiter 2010, I realize this landscape is, you know, nothing special to anybody that's been spending time with, you know, really visually stunning software, but I think this looks pretty cool. All right, 770 kilometers to go. Distance off base is hanging in there. Which way do we need to pitch or roll? That direction. All right, let's trim up a bit. I guess now that I know that information, I could close the retro and hover to improve my aerodynamics a little bit. Should I do that? Um, yeah, let's do that. I wish I remembered all the hotkeys for that stuff. Let's, oh, I guess I closed, the, turned off the APU before it was done. All right, so that's closed. So now let's take out some of that trim, turn off the APU. I wonder if I can have the radiator open I'm sure I could at that temperature. How's my coolant? It's okay. Let's just leave it alone. 690 kilometers to go. Just putting in a bit of roll to bring down the off base. So we needed 93 kilometers to get rid of a thousand meters a second. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pause here. Switch camera views over. Um, again, landings just take a while, so. Um, Rather than make one really long video, which I don't like to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here. And when we come back, hopefully we can finish the distance. We've only got 650 kilometers to go to the to the landing pad, and you know we're we're on track to get there. So we'll we'll just we'll see how things go. So uh, if you like this part, go ahead and leave a like down below, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next video.